Hey guys, Soupsy were here today. I'm back with another video, and today I'm, I am doing part two of how to build your own Roblox exploit. And before I begin, I want to say that in part one, I messed up when you first build, first create your project. You don't want to choose Windows Forms app option, you want to choose the one that says Windows Forms app.net framework. So just go back and and choose that option. So anyway, let's continue the video. Okay, so here's where we left off with the uh, with the uh, UI and and as I said before, make sure to to uh, change it so it's in Windows Forms at app dot net framework. Otherwise, you won't get properties and references. So let's uh, start, let's just c continue where we left off. I also forgot to add a refresh button, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna copy and paste in the inject and name this to, to refresh. Just like that, and, that, and now we need to add a drag control to the top panel. So when you hit start, you'll be able to drag it around. So that's what we are going to, to, to do now. And there is a DLL for this, which I'll have a link for it in the description below. And we are going to add it in references. So so uh, when, once you download it, it will be, it'll be called Binifu or something like that. You want to right click references and hit new add reference and then browse. And then, and then find Benefu, uh DLL, hit that, and click Add, and then hit OK, and you should see it in your references. So once it is, you want to go go to your toolbox, and then type in drag control right here, and just bring it onto your exploit. It doesn't matter where, and then you, as you can see, it's down here. And now what you want to do is make sure you're selecting it and drop in and scroll all the way down and hit uh, target control and then choose the, the name of your panel, my panel. I just named it to panel one and and yep, it should it should be uh, working now. So if you hit start wait for the load and you and now you can drag it around by by a uh, left cl left clicking left clicking the uh, panel so that that's pretty good nice let's go ahead and close this close it again okay so now we can start with the coding parts so so just uh, hit your execute button and then scroll up to the top where it says using system windows forms and then so so up uh, and then hit enter right there and i made a uh, list of all the code codes you, you're going to need to use in this video and i put a, and i'm going to put a link for the, this um file in the description below so you can use this so the first thing we are going to put here is this one that says up top <clears throat> so copy that and paste it, it says using we are devs api and it, it there <clears throat> sorry guys there is a a uh, error here because i forgot to add it in the references the we are devs dll so you're going to add reference and i'll also have a link for the we are devs api in the description below so first download that and then and then add it in the references hit browse and then find where you downloaded it right here hit add okay that's that's the wrong one i have one yeah make sure you turn off your your antivirus when you download it and this one should work then hit okay 
so now if we go back here there shouldn't be an error anymore because we have it in the references anyway next you want to go to public partial class click right here and hit enter and then go to our, our codes and find the public partial class one and then copy this code and paste it right here and that and there's no code there's no arrows so next we can go we can go to our execute button then go to the execute code copy this and then right here is going to be the name of your uh, script uh, code box whatever you want to call it so whatever the name is if you scroll down in its properties you can find its name mine is rich text box one so that's what I'm going to put here which text box one and I don't have any arrows we're good to go so next we can go to clear button this clears the code box so copy this and the same 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 thing the same thing here you just want to put your code box name just like that now we can go to inject right here and copy this code and paste it next you want to go to <clears throat> I'm going to go to close and copy the close code and put it into close like that and then minimize same thing just go to minimize and copy its code like that now you go to the next thing in the uh, code list is list box so just copy that copy this from for the list box then double click your list box and paste this in so there will be some errors here actually one and one arrow this is just because you have to add your code box name again and for file you want you want to right click it and hit this light bulb and then and then click using system and then go back here and then hit your refresh button And then copy the refresh code and then paste it here now there will be two errors here but we are, are going to fix that real quick so to fix these errors you want to go to to your right top corner here and and click this uh, C sharp icon I mean right click it and hit add class and then you want to name your class to functions functions exactly like this you, you guys cannot spell this wrong or it won't work let's name it functions with a capitalized F and then hit add then click here and hit enter and then get your functions code copy this and, and paste it into the functions now there's going to be some errors here and we're going to fix them hit uh, right click list box and hit the light bulb and click using system windows forms and then right here to directory info same thing click the light bulb and use system IO and it gets rid of all the arrows so we can go back here go to refresh and as you can see the arrows for arrows for the functions are gone and down here it says no issues found so we should be good to go to test this and to test it you want to you want to hit start and then once it loads you will get your exploit right here you can drag it around and everything 
so now we are going to test this exploit so let's go ahead and get into a game okay so i opened up a a, a roblox window and then here's our exploit i'm also going to get this uh build a boat for treasure script that i found and then i'm going to hit clear actually i'm going to hit inject first to inject the api that's the first thing you want to do on your exploit and as, as you can see it injected just fine so now i can hit clear and then paste in my script and then i'm going to hit execute and then here is the script just like that let's go ahead and fly around and everything so yeah guys that is how to uh code it you can show us show this off your friends and everything if you want and now i'm going to show you guys how to save save this and also get the file to share with whoever you want to so let's go ahead and x out of roblox go back to visual studio and x out your exploit so now to save this <clears throat> you want to hit uh, build and build solution and once it's done loading you should be good to go so now just go to your folder where, where you saved your exploit i saved it here and then you want to go to your your uh, exploit f folder and then let me show you guys you want to hit the folder and hit the YouTube exploit folder again, and then bin, debug, and then this is going to be, the debug folder is going to be the one that's going to have your exploit in it, so let's go to here. So what you want to do is drag debug onto your desktop, and then you can rename this to your exploit, YouTube exploits so now you, you can so now uh, double click this and then delete pdb and delete config and then this right here is your exploit you can click this and here it is it's complete and everything and it works so if you enjoyed this video please hit the hit the subscribe button and like the video Helps my channel out a lot and join my discord server for awesome updates for exploits and stuff so i'll see you guys in the next one